Leos, welcome to your January readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences at this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. So, Leos, um... In January, it seems very important to understand what is driving you towards life, what is driving you to attain and accomplish what you're after, what's driving you to stay where you are, what's driving you in general. There is a, a, a need to go to the roots, to go um, and search for your own desires and the causes of it. So what's driving you? Is it a desire to win? Is it a desire to be successful? Is it a desire to be loved? Is it a desire to escape something? What is it? What drives you there? And for that, you may need to regain some connection or strengthen your connection with spirit. There's an energy here where you may be, you know, circling around concepts of spirituality or faith or divine energy, whichever your beliefs are, you may be circling around them, but afraid to really tune in to your inner wisdom. And there's a sense that your inner voice will be trying to knock on your door very strongly this month to tell you something, to um, give you a certain degree of information that probably you are looking in more... Um, objective places and you're not finding some of you really need to feel you know energized and feel that you have strength to carry forward and you're not finding you're not finding that sense of strength or or courage in the usual places i feel that you're being called again to spirit to connection with the higher self so you can you know why put the wire put wires in the right place and the spiritual one may be you know a little bit disconnected and you may need to receive some you know weird sensations weird dreams weird feelings to really regain that notion and that understanding that there's something they're missing requiring your um presence also because you may be more focused on management you may be focused on career you may be focused on you know just improving your life or being out there living life to the best you can i feel that some leos are you know going out there playing meeting with um friends socializing and the ones who are not going out there you should go out more. I feel that there's something about socializing or just exploring new places that may provide, again, some insight and some sense of fulfillment. But I also feel that some of you are using, you know, casual things like casual dating or um, just some type of shallow uh, activities to try to f refill those gaps that spirit is asking you to refill on other ways. Um, I feel that there's, there, for some of you, there may be a crisis of consciousness. So there may be a spotlight or a light shed or an area of your life that may make you feel uncomfortable by what reveals to you. Uh, because it may make you need to go to a more serious energy an energy where you are being more responsible towards your behavior, towards what you are doing um, and what you are not doing actually to move forward with your life. I just feel that Leos in general in January are feeling bored, displeased with something. And I also feel that some of you want to explore. Yes, you want to go out there. Yes, you want to succeed. But again, there's an energy lacking. There's uh, batteries to be recharged. And I feel that you need to recharge them with diving into your own inner wisdom and voices, uh, guiding you the right way. 
you may receive important messages in regards to uh, where you are supposed to be career-wise. I feel that career-wise you have good things coming on the horizon, but you may need to put more effort into it. So more seriousness, more business mind into things. I feel that you have been playing, you have been trying to have fun, you have been trying to just enjoy life, but there's a responsibility calling to you this month. And I feel that for some of you is about work and the promise of attaining something important to you. I feel that some Leos may be understanding that they are almost there. They are on the verge of gaining and conquering what they want for themselves. But right after the big moment, there may be something uh, stopping you. And I feel again, it is that need to evaluate something, to listen to something, to get, you know, re-energized by your conscious, opening up your consciousness to what's in front of you. Um, some of you may be just questioning uh, where you are in life, uh, like questioning a lot, you know, how did I end up here? How did I end up in this job? How did I end up in this relationship? And questioning, questioning a lot the moment you are in. And again, this may put some crisis of consciousness um, in motion, but I feel they are coming as well to help you have here a rebirth, a beautiful rebirth. The sun energy Yes, it's one that likes to have fun. It wants, it's one that just wants to enjoy, again, life and the moment in life without taking things into consideration, you know, in a very mature, responsible way. Because usually that hinders the sun. Usually that takes away the joy. Um, but being the high priestess, your challenge. There's two possibilities. Either you are hiding away from the sun, either you are keeping yourself, you know, too quiet, too, you know, low key type of scenario, drowning in your own dissatisfaction, but not doing much about it, too passive, or you are avoiding the dark element, you are avoiding going within, you are avoiding, you know, uh, that place that it's deep and scary and sometimes uh, difficult to process, but that ultimately provides great illumination as well. So it depends on the Leo you are. For the majority, I feel you need to go back to your spirit. You need to go back to your faith. You need to go back to your inner wisdom. There's something inside of you that can help you make sense of whichever confusional state you are in. For example, questioning where you are and how you are there or how did you end up there. That answer, it's inside of you, but you need to quest. It's like journey. And for about three months, I have been sensing this for Leos. There's journey, a journey within you, a journey of it's like a, a, a bridge between, you know, the logical approach, the objective approach of understanding something and the approach that only depends within your own inner journey, your own inner allowance and receptivity to what your consciousness has to tell you and guide you. So there's a lot of things. It's like outside of your life, um, outside in your life, um, things may seem to be a little bit stagnant or not ha not much happening outside of you in January because you are called to go within. Because inside of you, there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of promises, there's a lot of things to awaken to, there's a lot of hidden factors to uncover. That's another thing. The High Priestess, when shows up in the challenge, many times it brings secrets. There's a secret for you to uncover, and I do feel this secret is unlocking a part of yourself, a part of yourself that you are not, are not understanding, or a part of yourself that you are fearing accessing to and the change that might bring. There's knowledge for you, um, and it's, it's showing up very strongly. I also feel that some of you may be dealing with some sudden um, a 
upsets or shocks or you know it's like that electrifying feeling of something happening quite suddenly but I also feel that in those cases where some of you may be going through sudden unexpected situations it's also another hint of some because electricity and sudden energy it's like something to you know awaken you is to make you like wake up to something or to spark something within you to realize it, something that it's happening um overall it seems like you have little things and they are kind of all out there and there's a lack of um like focus there's a lot of scattered energy let's say for you in january but i feel that the way to resolve that scatteredness is to 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 sit still to balance yourself and to listen to your own inner good advice there's good advice inside of you and there's also some love some self-love some nourishment some soul food that you need to provide yourself so that you can feel recharged and ready to go out there some of you may be wanting to travel or to go somewhere and there may be um, a delay or plans may may have this upset you know this unexpected element coming in and changing plans and this may upset you and this may make you again question things about the direction your your ev events in your life are taking so you were kind of in a very like confusional uh mind set but at the same time you are conquering something it's very interesting it's like things are a mess but you are creating something out of that mess you may not just know it right now you may just not be able to picture it fully but there's something being created out of this confusion. I feel that in terms of work and, and prosperity, there's something coming in the horizon or something that you will be going after that is going to be promising to your uh, future and to things you want to accomplish. Just tune in. You really need to tune in for some reason. I feel that even if just you need to tune in just to... Um, gain trust regain trust on you regain trust on your abilities to manage responsibility some of you may be avoiding responsibility or avoiding um the serious elements of some sorts but there's there's a lesson there for you to learn about being responsible for your own happiness not fearing being responsible and being left without the happiness and vice versa so tune in leos i hope i was able to provide some insight thank you so much for all the love and kindness and support you have been sending me and thank you for all the likes subscribe subscriptions and donations and please keep doing so and hopefully we'll see each other soon